Hello my dear YouTuber friends and I hope you're all keeping well. Welcome to this new video and this one's about adding a calibration option for your Logitech Flight Yacht system. Now for those of you who don't know, you don't get a calibration tab with the Logitech Flight Yacht system. Basically, I'll link a video I did about alleviating the dead zone, uh, the drift issue rather, by manipulating this dead zone tap. Go and look at that video I've just linked. That will talk you through if you want to do it this way. Basically, you right click there and then uncheck link dead zones and you can move these little tabs to where your aileron, your left and right movement, is currently in this dead zone tab. I'm not going to do it here. Go and watch that video if you want to do it this way. But aside from that, there's no calibration option. You've just got test where you can test all your buttons and controllers and axes and goodness knows what and your hat switch and dead zones no calibration tab which is a massive omission on logitech's part i think now i was looking i heard of a way of actually messing around with registry files and it's like a hard reset to add a calibration option i came across a youtuber called nt YDK. I'll link this in the description below this video and he was showing us how to add a calibration option for the SciTech yoke and SciTech Pro yoke. The SciTech Pro yoke has a very similar ID. In fact it seems to be the same ID as the Logitech flight yoke system. I'm going to talk you through this later in this video. It does include creating a registry file and editing your registry so be aware huge disclaimer if you're not comfortable in messing around with registry of your computer just avoid this if you want to give it a go like i'm going to this is prior before i've done this so i've not actually done this yet i'm just making this part of the video to tell you what i'm about to do so it does involve doing that. I'm going to link this in the description below, like I said, and then he's done another video showing that he's got a calibration option now for his Logitech, well, for his SciTech yoke. But I'm going to try and do it for my Logitech flight yoke system. Before I do this, there's one thing I'm going to do with you first. I'm going to back up my registry. So I'm going to go down to this search box here, type in reg reg and it should bring up here registry editor just left click on left click on that and go yes here and that'll take you to your registry editor to back up the whole registry just left click ensure computer is chosen so left click on computer there go to file go to export and then choose a place on your hard drives to save this backup. I'm going to call it Reg Backup. Reg Backup. And press save. It will take a moment. Not too long, hopefully. You can see that icon there. It's like a working... There you go. It's done it. Complete. So now I can, con I can close that. Go to my computer here, go to documents, and then there you go, I've got reg backup there. So that's my registry backed up in case something goes wrong. Like I said, I've not even done this yet. So let's get on with creating this registry file. Okay, so following the directions from this video, which I will link below, like I've mentioned, you want to go to Device Manager. So in this search box here, just start typing in, there you go, it'll come up, DEV. Left click on Device Manager. Again, following the directions, you want to go to Human Interface Devices here. Left click on the little arrow here and it's this one i believe let's just double check yep this top one here flight yacht system h id double click on that and 
in this new box that pops open, go to details, left click, and in property here, go to hardware IDs, left click, and it's this line that's important, this second line. Again, let's just move that box out of the way. Just simply following the directions from this video. And these numbers colorate uh, are exactly the same with these on the uh, SciTech Pro Yolk system. Exactly the same numbers, exactly the same uh, writing. So then what I did here was I went down here, open notepad, just type in notepad in the search pad here created a new notepad and actually I copied and I'm gonna put this in my description all these lines here basically I just copied and pasted them into notepad but I'll put it in the link in the description of my video and then I saved notepad to a similar title as here instead of SciTech I actually called mine Logitech because obviously it's a Logitech flight your system so let's try that again. File save as. So that's what I saved it as. And I've saved it to the desktop. At the end here, type .reg. It's important. Whatever you t put in here, at the end of it, .reg. I won't save it again because I've already got it saved. Let's minimize that. And you will see. Actually, I don't need the device manager open now. You will see I've got that uh, reg entry saved on my desktop here. Now the next step is for me to uh, take out my flight yolk system from my uh, computer, disconnect my Logitech flight yolk from my computer, so disconnect the USB and run that registry file or entry. So wish me luck. Okay, and we're back. So I double click the file, run it, press yes again to run it. It ran the file, I restarted the computer. So now if we go to control panel, just type in control there, click on control panel. Under uh, hard, hardware and sound, click on view devices and printers. On the flight yacht system, right click, go to game controller settings. And from here, ensure that's selected, go to properties. And now you will see we've got a test like always. A little bit different there. But we've got a settings and a calibration tab. Isn't that fantastic? So now you can calibrate your flight yield system. So let's do this together. Leave the handle centered and press a button on the controller. I didn't do that. Right, move the handle in complete circles. So I'm just using all the different axis on the flight yacht system, moving it in complete circles. So pulling it back, pushing it forward. And press a button on the controller. Leave the handle centered. Move the Z axis. Now which one's the Z axis? Ah, there we are, I found it. See, left handle on the throttle unit. Press a button. The X is obviously the next handle along. All the way up and down, press a button. And the Y is obviously the next handle or lever on your throttle uh, quadrant. And press a button. To save your calibration, press finish. Fantastic. So that seems to have worked well in the calibration, but at least now we have a calibration. You've still got your hat switch down here and all the buttons on the throttle quadrant and on your flight your system. Looks a little bit different. We don't have the dead zone tab here. So keep that in mind. But that seems to work well. I'm going to go and test that. And just doing a quick test. Now I've uh, calibrated my yoke just flying over uh, London 
and it's all fine a lot better than it was even adjusting those dead zones this just feels smooth and like it was when I first got my yolk system so absolutely fantastic anyway I'll see you soon if you don't hear back from me on this video it means it's been a success so remember you're running this at your own risk if you edit your registry files at least back them up like I showed you before but you're doing this at your own risk the only other thing I would mention there, I'm going to go to device manager again in the human interfaces interfaces devices ensure that you have the correct ID in that uh, registry entry I just created ensure that you have that part go and look at the video rewind it back and go and look at it if you need to ensure this is correct I'm gonna put what I put in here if you're using the Logitech flight your system it should work but double check here first that it it matches what I put in that registry file otherwise you could end up messing up your computer so just keep that in mind Anyway, let me know your thoughts on this. I think that's fantastic. We now have a calibration tab for our Logitech Flight Your System. Let me know your thoughts. Go and support the other person that I linked in the description. Go and give him a thumbs up because he pointed me in the, di the right direction for this. Subscribe for more lots of flight simulator videos on the way. And I'll see you soon.